Welcome back to Living Local. You're looking to catch a movie this weekend? Well, lucky for you, we have the one, the only Mike Schultz, arts editor for The Reader, here to tell us what's new at the Cineplex. How are you, man? I'm doing well. Yourself? I'm doing great. Good. So, this first film yes. is on my list to see this weekend at oh. the Picture House. But I saw the TV glow. I saw the TV glow. This is going to be interesting for me because, first of all, it's my favorite movie of the year that I've seen so far. Really? But I also don't know quite how to talk about it because okay. it's a strange blend of genres mm -hmm. and it's going to sound weirder than maybe it is <laughs> or less weird than it is. I'm sure. not even sure. I saw the TV Glow. Yes, this is an independent movie. It is set in the late 90s. It is about a pair of high school outcasts that fall very much in love with a TV show uh, called The Pink Opaque. The Pink Opaque is a series that we had in the 90s. You might remember, Tristan, when we had Buffy the Vampire oh, Slayer yeah. and the X-Files and Twin Peaks mm -hmm. and shows that had their own, as we see, episode guides and pulled you into their universes, and this is kind of about people uh, who would much rather be in one of those make-believe worlds than in their real life, but it really gets into the idea of 90s TV culture because, as you remember, we didn't have next day recaps on the internet. No, we did not we have did texting not. with friends. Mm -mm. And if a show ended, kind of, if it just got canceled and ended, you had nowhere to bring your, <laughs> your misery. Your, your drama. It was like, what just happened there? <laughs> and so it is kind of about these these people dealing with like the the, the, the kind of the fake world and the real mm -hmm. world. They start blending. And then it follows them 10 years or so later where you realize the repercussions of what that was like at being so affected yeah. by this show as teens now dealing with life as a 20-something and still not sh sure where you belong. It has monsters. It has an amazing soundtrack. It is gorgeously filmed, yeah. beautifully acted. And as you mentioned, uh, opening at the last Picture House on Friday, do not miss it. It's oh, yeah. marvelous. Yeah, I can't wait. I it's, loved it. Because the trailer has intrigued me for a few months now. Because they so. don't really give you any no, idea of what no it's going to be about. But it's, I was like, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, just gorgeous. Give me some 90s nostalgia. Yeah. I'm all in. I loved it. Well, this next yes. one, big old blockbuster. Yeah. Furioso! Uh, Furioso's coming. I'm, right. I'm excited about I'm this excited one, too. I'm excited, too, man. Uh, if you probably remember, 2015 is the last time we were in George Miller's dystopian uh, future <laughs> where everybody's <laughs> after water and oil and will do anything to get it. In 2015, Mad Max Fury Road won six Academy mm -hmm. Awards and uh, introduced us to the character of Furiosa, who is something else. And she was played by <laughs> Charlize Theron in the original movie. Now, this is a prequel, uh, kind yes. of showing her origin story. And so it starts with Furiosa as a 10-year-old. She's living a very peaceful existence in the forest with her mother. And then, of course, everybody from the Citadel, a whole bunch of warlords, decide to show up and steal all the women for sinister purposes mm -hmm. that we learn about in the 2015 movie. Uh, so this uh, then takes her from her childhood to becoming a young woman, played by Anya Taylor-Joy, who we very much like. Absolutely. And it's uh, and beyond that, it's going to be a lot of action. It's going to be Chris Hemsworth, like you've never seen him before, although he looks a little Thorish in, <laughs> he that, does, little, he does, yeah. in that little uh, cape there. Uh, but it's, gosh, it's George Miller. One of the I best guess. action directors ever to yeah. live. It's going to look like a million bucks. Yes, for it's, sure. I mean, the trailer alone. I'm, I'm ready. So I'm exciting. In. Exactly right. And the reviews are great. Uh, it premiered at the Cannes Film Festival last week, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's doing really well. Uh, and uh, boy, I can't wait. Yeah. I love the Met Fury Road. Oh, you too? Oh, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm All the Mad Max movies are good, though. Yeah. Every no, single one of them. So no. This yeah. one looks great, so I cannot wait. Agreed. Now, for something completely different. Yeah. The Garfield hey, movie. It's the Garfield there movie. It is. Well, okay. Yeah. Every once in a while, we have to throw some family <laughs> yes, fairy here. Do, so, yeah. folks, it's the Garfield movie. Uh, you might remember that it actually was a couple of films, uh, what, 20 years ago or so, with Bill it's been Murray a while. Yeah. voicing the mm -hmm. cat. You know the cat. He's the one who hates Mondays and loves lasagna <laughs> and deals with his dog pal Odie. And uh, this is a big old action adventure comedy where Garfield and Odie get kidnapped by this nasty kitty cat uh, who are basically kidnapping them because they want to get to Garfield's father who abandoned his son as a child and mm -hmm. uh, the father's in trouble for one reason or another. I don't really, I don't care that much. <laughs> uh, this is about, it's going to be about the vocal cast and the comedy and the action. Vocal cast, we have Chris Pratt as Garfield, yeah. which is an interesting choice. 
Uh, it seems like he does a lot of interesting things these days. He really does. And <laughs> a lot of voiceovers. I mean, we had Lego Movie, and we had Super Mario Brothers, yeah. and we had Onward. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm tired of hearing him. Uh, <laughs> we have Samuel L. Jackson as Garfield's dad. We have uh, Harvey Guillen as Odie from What We Do in the Shadows, which makes me happy. Yes. We have Hannah Waddingham from Ted Lasso as the main villain. And as one of her henchmen, we have Brett Goldstein from Ted from Lasso. Ted Lasso, yeah. Absolutely. Crazy. So at least that'll be fun. Yeah. And uh, Let's be fair. It's been a while since kids have had a movie. Yes. Uh, the last one probably would have been the Kung Fu Panda sequel, which was more than two months ago. So yeah. give the kids something to watch. Absolutely. I, I would have been so looking forward to this if I was nine. I was <laughs> I was crazy about Garfield comic strips when I was nine. I, was I had all the books. Yeah. I, I, I knew everything. And I think my kid will probably like that, so I imagine I'll there see that. There you go. But, uh, yeah. Well, let's go That's over a weird what, double feature, uh, though. It is a weird... You know what? The thing is, Harper probably would be interested in that double feature. Okay. Furiosa and Garfield. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So let's go over what Mike <laughs> talked about the movie interview as I saw the TV glow and new in theaters is Furiosa and the Garfield movie. Mike, thanks so much, Always man. a pleasure. Yeah, you can find Mike's movie reviews online at rcreader.com. We'll have all those details posted at ourquadcities.com.